Today, I'm going to show you how to work with large bead frame dynamic subtraction. We will need the large bead frame and subtraction problems. Let's read our first problem. We have 3,432 minus 675. Remember, we call this subtrahend, the number from which we take away. And the number which we take away, we call that the minuend. And the answer to subtraction, we call that difference. Let's build our subtrahend. We have 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 3,000, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 tenths, 1, 2, and 3, and 2 units, 1, 2. Now we need to take away 675. Let's start taking away from the units. In the units place, we need to take away 5. 1, 2. Oops, we don't have enough. I know we can borrow from the tens. Let's borrow from the tens. I'll borrow one from the tens and exchange the tens to 10 units so I can continue taking away. I stopped at two. I'll continue. Three, four, and five. Now let's go to the tens. In the tens, I need to take away seven. Let's take away seven. Let's take away one, two. I don't have enough tens, but I know I can borrow from the hundreds. I'll borrow one from the hundreds. And exchange this to ten tens. I stopped at two. I'll continue. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, I've taken away seven tens. Now, let's go to the hundreds. In the hundreds, I need to take away six. Let's take away six. One, two, three. Oops, I don't have enough hundreds. But I know I can borrow from the thousands. I'll borrow one from the thousands and exchange it with ten hundreds. I stopped at three. I'll continue. Four, five, and six. Now I've taken away six hundreds. In the thousands, there is nothing to take away. So now I'll count how many are left. Let's count starting from the units. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There are seven units. In the ten, there are one, two, three, four, and five. There are five tens. In the hundreds, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven hundred. And you have two thousand. Don't forget to write the comma to separate the family. Now, let's read. 3,432 minus 675 is equal to 2,757. Now, let's go to the next problem. Now let's read our second problem. We have 4,536 minus 2,959. Let's build our subtrahend. So you need 4,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 3 tenths, 10, 20, 30, and six units one two three four five and six 
Now let's take away 2,959. Let's start taking away from the units. So we need to take away 9 units. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't have enough units. I need to borrow from the tens. Let's borrow one from the tens. Borrow one from the tens and exchange one ten to ten units. I stop at six. I'll continue. Seven, eight, and nine. I've taken away nine units. Now let's go to the tens. I need to take away five tens. Let's count. One and two. I don't have enough tens. I need to borrow. Let's borrow one from the hundred and exchange it to tens. I stop taking away at two. I need to continue. Three, four, and five. Now I've taken away five tens. Now let's go to the hundreds. In the hundreds, I need to take away nine tenths. Let's take away nine tenths. You have one, two, three, four. I don't have enough. Let's borrow from the thousand. One thousand and exchange one thousand to ten hundred. I stopped at four. I'll continue. Five, six, Seven, eight, and nine. Now, let's go to the thousands. I need to take away two thousand. Let's take away two thousand. One thousand, two thousand. Now, let's count how many are left. Starting from the units, we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. We have seven units. Let's write that down. Seven units. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also have seven tens. And we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five hundred. And we have 1,000 left. Let's put a comma. So now, this is our answer. 4,536 minus 2,959 is equals to 1,577. Now that I've shown you how to work with this one, you can try doing this on your own.